What's going on guys? Jake Bully with Barben.com. Today we're going to be reviewing and looking at the Onnit 24 kilogram kettlebell. Many folks will know Onnit in the strength industry as someone who provides a variety of supplements, fitness equipment, and even certifications for things like kettlebells. Today we're going to be looking at the construction, the price, the pros, cons, and who could benefit with the kettlebell made by Onnit. So now let's take a closer look. Taking a closer look at the Onnit 24 kilogram kettlebell, we're going to work our way up from the ground up. First there's a machine bottom finish, and so the bottom's very flat which means the bell's going to sit very flat and that's a perk for anybody working on rubber floors or let's say something that might be uneven like an outside or a garage surface. It's going to ensure that bell sits very flat whether you're in a workout or if you're in a class setting. Next let's look at the aesthetics of the bell. First we have the high def on it branding up front with a 24 kilogram engraving and this is engraved so if the paint does ever chip away you're still going to be able to tell what weight and brand this kettlebell is. If we turn it around, we have the same on the back. Looking at the finish of the bell, it's a little bit of a smoother surface. On it said they redesigned the actual finish to prevent more chipping and to prevent rust. I could definitely see this preventing rust, but I'm not too sure about the chips. If we turn it around, there's actually some bumps down here on the rigid area down here towards the bottom, and you could actually probably see them. And I think that might be a little bit of a manufacturer error with the actual aesthetic and finish of the casting of the bell. It's not going to impact the performance and it's not a huge issue, but it is something I kind of noticed upon my first take of this kettlebell. Next we'll work our way up to the handle. It's a smoother surface. It's going to take chalk pretty well. It's not a full powder coat, so it's not super gritty, but it's also not a full steel, so it's not incredibly slick. I think it's going to be good for chalk and non-chalk use. And then lastly, the grip itself feels like to be in between a 33 millimeter competition kettlebell handle, which is a little bit on the skinnier side, and let's say one of those big box kettlebells, or big box gym for that matter, that have like the thicker surfaces. I think it's going to be beneficial for a variety of hand sizes. All in all, I think those are my biggest call outs for the construction of this kettlebell. All right, so now for a mini performance test. We're gonna do some Russian kettlebell swings with and without chalk to assess how this handle takes chalk. It's a little bit of a hybrid in between a powder coat and a fully smooth handle, so I'm interested to see how it performs. Now without chalk. We'll add a little bit of chalk. All in all, performed pretty good in both settings. I like how it's a little bit of an in-between feeling between a fully powder coat and a fully smooth handle. I think you'll be presently surprised with how it performs with and without chalk. That being said, I liked how it performed in both settings. The price of this kettlebell comes in around $76.95. And for a kettlebell of 24 kilograms or around that kind of 50 pound range, that's a pretty good price, especially being made by Onnit, which is kind of known for making quality products. So all in all, it's a pretty good price for this bell. All right, three pros I liked about the Onnit kettlebell. Number one, I like the chip resistant coat. I think they did a pretty good job of putting on a coat that's gonna try to be a little bit more resilient to chips, whether it be banging against other kettlebells or the ground. Obviously there could be some chips over time, but I think it's gonna be pretty good at resisting chips. Next, I like the price. This pr the price of this bell comes at around $76.95. That's pretty good price, especially for a 24 kilogram kettlebell or around that 50 pound range. And then lastly, I like the machine bottom finish. A machine bottom finish suggests the bell is gonna sit very flat on multiple surfaces. So if you're setting it down quickly in mid-workout, you don't have to worry about the bell toppling over if it has one of those like rounded finishes that's not fully welded or flat bottom finished. Those are my three pros with the Onnit kettlebell. One potential con I could see with the Onnit kettlebell is a little bit of variability between the actual mold of the bell. Down here on the bottom of the bell, there's actually some bumps down here that look like it might be a little bit of a manufacturing issue or just some kind of like aesthetic flaw. It's not a huge issue and it's not gonna affect the kettlebell's performance or what you're gonna actually be using it for. But that being said, that's a potential con I could see. I don't see it being a problem with every bell, but it's something to kind of keep in mind. Okay, so who could benefit with the Onnit kettlebell? In reality, I think every strength athlete could benefit with this kettlebell if programmed correctly. But if I had to dive into two niches specifically, I think the home gym owner could benefit with this kettlebell. It's a 
cost efficient belt and it has the high def lettering. It looks pretty cool. It's gonna look great in any gym setting. Next, I think the gym owner could benefit. Since it is cost efficient, you could buy a lot of the bells and it's gonna be less pricey than some of your more high end bells. And that being said, there's also the flat bottom finish. So if somebody in your class or somebody in the gym is setting it down, you don't have to worry about the bottom chipping because it's gonna be offset. It's gonna sit pretty flat, which is gonna work in a variety of settings, whether it be class or personal use. That concludes my review of the Onyx kettlebell. I thought it was a very aesthetic and cost efficient bell, but I did have one particular comment with the bell. To read more about my full thoughts and review, visit us at barbend.com or search Onyx kettlebell and barbend. If you like what you saw in this video and you want more reviews similar to this kettlebell and across the full strength market, hit the subscribe button below and be sure to like this video.